everyone, how y'all doing? It is your faith frustrated creator, Shole, signing in for another video. And if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, hola, I go by Shole, and on my channel, I basically post commentary, motivational Mondays, and skits on Fridays. And today, we have our motivational Monday, and we're going to be speaking about what drives you, what makes you do the things you do. And that's basically boiled down to motivation. What motivates you? What pushes you? What propels you? And how to find it? Now, knowing what your motivation is, is very important when it comes to starting new projects, going on to continue things you've already started in the past that you've lost a zeal for. And I could tell for me personally as well, that when it comes to things that I really want to start or things that I probably am trying to pick up the pace or trying to push myself even further than I have before, really redefining what my motivating, I guess, ship is in a sense, really helps me to figure out if it is genuine or not. Making sure that your motivation is pure and it is genuine and authentic is very, very important. Figure out why you do the things you do. Making sure that what you're doing is for the betterment of your own life and the people around you is very beneficial. For instance, when it comes to living a healthy life and having healthy living, it is very important to know that not only are you affecting yourself, but you're affecting everyone else around you. I'm that kind of person whenever I'm going through something or I'm doing something to betterment to the betterment of my own life, I tend to use it to affect the people around me. So let's say for instance, I'm fasting or I'm going ahead to do a fruit cleanse or something like that I kind of put my family on to doing it with me like a little challenge to see who can last or getting my significant other to also participate in it as well to kind of like help all of us like get on a different level and everything like that really defining why you do the things you do and how you go about it is very crucial and I'm gonna give some tips and tricks on how to find your motivation and how to make sure it is along the track into the light that you want Number one, look within. Look within yourself to really know why you do the things you do. It's really easy to get carried away in life and look over there and look what they're doing over there and maybe, you know, follow along the path that they're doing. But you don't ever know anyone's true intentions in life. You don't really know why they do the things that they do or if they're doing anything to help the people around them. So look within. Look at the people who help you push yourself forward in life. Look at the people who are constantly contributing to who you are as a person and making sure that having them at the back of your mind when you go ahead to do the things you do really can make you see if what you're doing is genuine or not. For instance, me personally, my main intention in life is to definitely help others and motivate others and push others to the to the right direction, make them laugh, make them smile, and still keep them educated on the things that are going on in our lives and the things that are happening within our lives. So when it comes to my YouTube channel, when it comes to my Instagram, my Twitter, and everything like that, being able to build a platform for myself to help other people over time is a huge factor for me. And also being able to provide for me, my family, in the long run to be able to build generational wealth, if you know what I'm saying, and being able to just put everyone on to what I want to do in life as well, to what they want to do in life, and to just distribute wealth all over the family, all over my family and friends and everything like that is very, very important to me. So really just looking within and seeing how I can do that is very important. Number two, related to life experiences and how you want to feel out of those life experiences. Having a monument happening in your life or that has already happened in your life and knowing how you felt in that one moment and attributing to what you want to do in the future is extremely energy driven and it kind of puts that energy and that emotion that you had in one situation and brings it to another so as you're going through the process of trying to accomplish something you remember that feeling you had in that initial situation and you're bringing it to another situation so you kind of have that same feeling that same process so you want to always continue working at it doing what you love doing and really it just pushes everything to the forefront and it gives you that ability to just keep on going. One of my favorite experiences that I've ever felt in my life was when I was awarded a award in school and I had no clue about it. It was the day that I was graduating and it literally just came out of nowhere. I literally burst into tears like walking down the stairs and everything and going ahead to collect the award. Nobody told me anything about it and I was just 
extremely amazed and remembering that I had worked so hard in my high school career to do better and to push myself forward and everything and not even knowing that an award was going to come out of it or any kind of like acknowledgement or recognition was going to come out of it and I just did it anyways and I was recognized for my hard work and everything I had done it, it really just made me feel that like no matter what like my effort and what I do is going to be recognized no matter what happens I'm going to be okay and I'm going to reach the higher level each and every time and taking that initial experience and that initial emotion to the things that I do now on YouTube that maybe it seems right now that I'm just talking to my audience right now and it seems quite small right now though I'm very grateful for all of y'all and everything like that and I appreciate you guys so much for watching me but at the same time, I know that no matter what, I'm still impacting someone's life through what I do, through what I love doing, which is talking to y'all and speaking to y'all. I know it may seem crazy and everything. I'm literally just talking to my, you know, my camera and everything like that. But at the same time, like it is reaching an audience. It's reaching people. There's so many people who've been on this platform who've been doing what they're doing and they're consistent with it, everything like that. And they don't have much of an audience. No one really sees their videos. But at the same time, I, I can only be thankful for the fact that I've only started what? A month ago and I already have such an amazing audience who interacts with me who talks with me who likes my videos who shares my stuff like I appreciate each and every one of you guys so just knowing that you know what through that one situation and pulling that emotion and how I felt and everything like that into a different situation gives me that you know pushing factor and everything like that and just feeling good about it you know and number three <laughs> number three I would definitely say is really capturing the end results and using it as a way to push you because I talked about looking from within and then I talked about your emotion from a different situation and then now I'm speaking about the fact that after you get it done how do you want yourself to feel how do you want to be able to embody that emotion when you're already done doing what you want to do when you've already gotten to your end goal or when you've already finished the process and now it's time for another process to begin when you capture that emotion and you lay hold on it you're not only pushing the way you feel at that moment to a different level but you're also putting your mindset on a different moment you're able to embody all of that as you're going ahead to finish your goal because I truly believe in manifestation and I believe in being able to push your feelings and your goals into the right direction and it you seeing it to the end goal and everything like that so being able to take that emotion to take that mindset and push your goals to the end result is extremely helpful for you so remembering that you know what no matter what i'm gonna get to my end goal and i know i'm gonna feel great and knowing that i'm going to be impacting people's lives i'm going to be helping people around me i felt this way before and i'm gonna feel it again really just you know puts your whole entire like body into like i'm gonna make it i'm going to achieve my goals because at the end of the day your emotions your motivation and everything pushes your boat to success from one area to another being in that mindset, being in that embodiment really just propels everything else in your life and you don't recognize it and being consistent with it. Because yes, you can feel that way great for one day, but then if you're not like that throughout the whole week or you're not allowing yourself to envision yourself getting to your end goal and having that motivation to just push you forward, it's literally useless. So allowing yourself to consistently believe, I'm going to make it. This is the emotion I feel right now, which is good. This is the emotion that I feel at the end, which is great. And I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on hustling. I'm going to keep on with the keeping on. You know what I mean? And just allowing yourself to just be in that area, in that mindset is extremely healthy for you. And it's extremely good for you because I believe, I don't know what the terms are but your brain releases a certain chemical when you're really happy or when you're working out or something like that i think it's endorphins a dopamine i don't let me not say the wrong thing but if you guys know comment down below i'll i might even research it on the side who knows but it's just something really good and healthy for you when you constantly are in a healthy environment and and then uh, <laughs> 
It's really good when you're in a, in a healthy, wow, I cannot speak. Girl, what is going on? Anyways, it is really good when you're in a healthy environment and healthy mindset. Okay. It is really good when you're in a healthy environment, a healthy mindset, and you allow yourself to just keep all that motivation in you to go forward in life. Because at the end of the day, your motivation really determines how you go ahead to finish the course in life. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of my video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Honestly, like this journey is extremely rewarding. It's humbling, but at the same time, like I couldn't ask for a better way for me to go ahead and try to build a platform for myself and be able to impact y'all's lives and help you guys in the beginning of your week to go ahead and just enjoy life and just feel good about everything going on. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts at all, please comment down below. If you like this kind of content, please like. And if you also want to continue to support me, if you want to continue to watch my kind of content, you know, whether it's my Motivational Mondays, my um, commentary, or my skits on Fridays, please subscribe down below and hit that notification bell to get notified when I post. Thank you guys so, so, so very much. And once again, remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. And you can do anything you set your mind to. All right. Thank you guys so much. Peace.